All right, everyone, here's a little bit uh, of a different video. I'm gonna go over some accessories that we got for our 1999 Dodge Viper RT10s. So on the right is my red 99 Dodge Viper RT10, which you guys are so accustomed to seeing on the channel. On the left is my dad's 1999 Dodge Viper RT10. This is black, and right now it doesn't have a hardtop on. So those are the main differences that we're looking at. Um, but what we're really gonna talk about is the California car cover options for the RT10. Um, so these primarily sit in the garage, right, you know, and uh, the biggest threats are, are door dings, or not door dings per se, but uh, maybe little nieces and nephews bumping into them and scratching them. Uh, so this is more just to protect against that, right? So California car cover, a little background, um, obviously based in California, and these are made in America products, so that's a huge thing to start with, right? So um, keep your money here domestically, that's, uh, that's always helping the cause. So. On the left, you'll see my dad's plush weave car cover, right? So this is um, a pretty nice car cover. I mean, it's nice and thick, right? It's uh, got that flannel liner under the bottom of it, uh, and it's, it's you know, pretty stretchy and tough. This does a great job of keeping scratches off the car, right? Um, little niece and nephew bump into it, nothing's going to happen. This starts for the RT10 at $360. Um, it's just the regular gray California car cover logo on the front of it, um, and this is really, at the end of the day, all you really need to keep your car safe when you park it in the in the garage for the winter or something like that. Um, it looks good, uh, but you know I'll, I'll contrast it with the uh, custom weave here in a second. But again, this is really all you need. Um, you can get it in black and tan, and it costs an additional forty dollars for either one of those colors. So I started specking this out, and uh, I, I got it in black, and it would have been four hundred dollars total. Um, then I started looking, and they had this custom weave available, which had way more colors right you know had black tan red um you name it they had like six different colors um but there was a huge price jump right so this in black would have been 400 uh this in black or red or whatever color you have it is 520. um so it would have been uh, 160 over the base co cover or um 120 over the black uh so i went with the custom weave um, I did love my dad's, but this custom weave, uh, I did read lots of reviews saying that it fits tighter and it just looks better. Um, and I'll let you be the judge, right? So I was able to get this in red. I, I got this custom embroidery here. Uh, that was a pretty penny, right? No Motorsports, that's a channel you guys are on right now. Um, some key differences I see right off the bat, right? So look how low and, and, uh, and full coverage this custom weave is. Now the plush weave, does a great job here. This actually got pulled up here in the front. This has about 90% coverage. Okay, this uh, this goes down almost all the way down to the ground. You can see a little bit of the wheels there at the bottom. Um, so you get almost complete coverage here with the, uh, the custom weave. So that's one thing right off the bat. Secondly is the material. It's a little bit thinner, um, which is surprising. But you got that same nice flannel interior, uh, but it is a little bit thinner. So. Um, even if you look at Ca uh, California Car Cover website, you'll see that this does not do as good of a job at ding and scratch prevention. So uh, on a pure, pure utility basis, the custom weave isn't as good. Um, it does look better though. So uh, <laughs> I'll let you be the judge as to what you guys would go with. Um, I did want something that, you know, when I walk out in the garage, right, and go out there every day, I want something to look at and to be pretty. So that's why I wanted the custom weave. Um, I don't think I have any regrets, right? I mean, it's just probably an extra, you know, $120 more than I would have been spending. Um, and I really don't have that big of a, a ding or scratch risk per se, right? I don't have any kids. Um, again, just the nieces and nephews, I'll bring up that they come over. Um, but I make them be careful in the garage. Uh, so let's summarize. If you just need something to protect your car and you don't care how it looks, right? You're not really that particular, but wants to to do a good job keeping the dust and scratches away get the plush weave right that's a, a great option right and it's not a cheap option either but it 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 does its job if you want something to maybe bring to the car shows or um, maybe be a little bit more flashy you can get the custom weave and it'll cost you a little bit more um, it still does a great job of ding and scratch protection here i mean this is still no slouch it's a it's a nice car cover um, let me take you around the side Um, yeah, it's it's they both look great, right? Um, one thing that is different between these two is the custom weave came with a little baggie, right? So when I'm done, instead of just rolling it up in a ball, I can throw it in this nice baggie and uh, 
it'll keep it nice and uh, organized. Um, so again, California car cover. Uh, both of these car covers are amazing products, made in America. Um, you get what you pay for, right? I mean, they're not cheap, but that's been a year now and it still looks like new. Uh, this, I just pulled out of the box about an hour ago. Um, been looking it up and down and I, I love how it fits. Uh, so I don't think you can go wrong with either one. You know, if you're a little bit more budget oriented, you know, get the, the plush weave. If you want to ball out, get the plush weave. <laughs> that's about it. So um, that's my, my little take on these two covers. Uh, so y'all stay lucky.